We should be about ready to start here. I think. I took like part of my setup out of town with me, so I had to like set things up again and I'm frantically getting everything all sorted here before we start and stuff. Like I only just turned on the chat box. Like just now. <laughs> Like, I was like, hmm, I'm probably missing something here. And then I realized that I couldn't actually even see the chat box, so I had to load that up. So, I, if anybody said anything, I don't know what it is. But, anyway, it has been quite a while since we've touched Bowser Jr.'s journey here. We've kind of been doing a lot of Fire Emblem Three Houses lately. And now our first playthrough of Three Houses is finally done. Three more to go, at least, considering, you know... There's four different routes. Also, the it's running at 105% speed. I think I have to press minus to like fix it, and then I'll switch my layout here. No, pressing minus doesn't reduce it to. Okay, I guess we're just running the game 5% faster than it's supposed to be, for whatever reason. So hopefully that. Yeah, that music is a little bit faster than it should be. What what did I hit by accident? Like page up or page down or something? Oh. Oh, that's what changes it. But those are also my hotkeys to freaking... Okay, we're at 100% speed now. Instead of 5% faster. Um, anyway. Yeah. It has been a little while since this was last touched. Because I've been kind of addicted to three houses and such. And now that our first playthrough of three houses is done, I figure like, hey. Let's take a little bit of a break. Let's hop into something that hasn't been touched in quite a while. And let's make some more progress through it. So that I can, you know, eventually forget about it. Also, I'm not sure how long the stream is gonna go. Apparently not that long. That voice filter? There's a voice filter? Hello? But hello, Cam. Hope things are going well. It's going pretty well with me. And it looks like this stream isn't actually gonna be going on too long, and unfortunately. Looks like there's places to be. But I'll probably be doing some Stardew Valley later tonight as well for the first time in a while with that group. But for now, we'll do a little bit of a thing there. <laughs> His voice drops since the last stream? What, do you think it's just a difference in microphone? Uh, if you're talking about last stream, like the last VGLS stream or something like that, where I would just occasionally come on and say hi from like, my phone microphone. Because the microphone in this is definitely not as good as the difference i uh, know but now we're getting to blubble lake which is such good music and how does this game work again it's fixed what did something go weird with the audio <laughs> also i need to remember how to play this game now i don't remember how i don't remember how it's done but also once this game is done as the next handheld game, we can move on to Bravely Second Next, and I do actually have a layout all ready for it and such, for when we do get into that. Like, I'm, I'm prepared to hop into Bravely Second here eventually as our next handheld game after this, but no, we kind of have to finish this off first, is kind of the thing. It was like a stereotypical hacker voice. You've been hacked! Um, it made your voice that deep weird. <laughs> or that weird deep wonky. Also, how does this game work again? It, it's it been like a month. <laughs> Hello, tacos. Hope things are going well today there. I don't remember how this game works. It's been too long. Which is kind of sus. The power of sus. Anyway, hold on. What is, how does the weapon triangle work again? Um, grounded dudes are good against range, range is good against flying, and flying is good against ground. So there's ground dudes in the front, meaning I want flying in the front, and then like range dudes behind. Wait. And then there's range dudes there, so I want some ground dudes. So flying in the front, ground in the middle, ranged in the back. Flying, ground, ranged. That's what I need to make my freaking squad. Um, flying, ground, range. I need to do this before I forget how everything works. Before I forget what life even is. Um, I have a freaking 15 plus bat here. So let's go ahead and throw the bat in there. Same with this one here. So flying, ground is already there. Unless I have any better grounded dudes. And then I need ranged. Um... At least, like, A range, I don't know. 
Um, oh, I have this guy who's like 15 plus. And then I have this guy who's like 13. Sure, that thing. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a DD &D session today. Nice, nice. I've never actually done a DD &D session myself, so I don't know what exact. Freaking save my changes, please. Jeez. So I have no idea what it's like, but I wish you the best with that. You're gonna post a clip. Lol, God. Okay, what did my voice sound like here then? If I pause the emulation so we don't hear the music there, what did it sound like? Let's see. Stream like the last Whoa, GLS what? Stream or something like that, where I would just occasionally come on and say hi from like my phone microphone. Because what? The microphone in this is definitely not as good. What the heck was that? But it's like normal now? Well, I'm checking my channel right now just in case. Um. Hold on, I'm ch I'm listening to the stream right now. Hold on, let's listen to this. Um, hold on, I'm ch I'm listening to this. It's normal right now. now. Hold on, let's listen to this. Um, is it, what the heck? Why is my voice like so deep there? Oh my goodness! Ow, my ears. Whoa. Um, thanks for the clip there, Cam. That was weird. <laughs> That's what you were asking. I didn't realize it sounded like that. Why the heck did my software do that? And gets it, Harmonia, you dirty pirate. Oak. I mean, what do you wonder? Wait, I mean, what's you wonderful person? I assume that's a typo there, but hello, Ketsuno. <laughs> what's up? Gotcha. Things are going pretty well here. I I was doing some smash practice on the weekend. I finished up the second part in my master classes series for Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is currently finished upload, but I haven't hit publish yet because I'm waiting for like my kind of daily part of Fire Emblem to actually finish uploading today first. Like, is it? It's not done yet. Part 56. Um, is it up yet? No, it's still just at part 55. All right, I have to wait for freaking 56 to end and then I'll hit publish on my laptop for that next part in that guide series I made this weekend. So I made some good progress on things I've been working on. Like I made the second part of this five part guide series. I made most of the music collection for next month. It's like, 80% done So just a little bit more to go so I'm already ready for the like next music collection Which is actually one of my favorite ones I've made so far. I really look forward to putting it out there and Yeah And yeah, also Ketson as I was saying in the freaking group chat there for like the stardew valley streams. I Turns out as of like a little bit ago. There's actually a family dinner that I'm gonna have to get to but it's like relatively early like it's gonna be happening relatively shortly so this stream isn't even gonna be that long itself so i'll definitely be able to make it back in time for like the stardew valley streams and stuff like that since it's been a while since we've done that we should be able to make it and today at 6 p.m your time is when the session starts at the third one you've done in this campaign is that like an online thing or an in-person thing also how does the game work again what game am i playing is this fortnite oh yeah Lord of dick small bounds <laughs> i forgot about that in person, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my goodness, there's freaking crowned Lakitu dudes. Oh yeah, I have to like press those buttons on the thing on the bottom screen there. Ah, ah, man, I don't remember how to play this game. I've been playing too much Three Houses. I've been too addicted to Three Houses lately because it's too good. Oh, take that, take a sign. Um, they're already going after my dude. Uh-oh. Deny. I forgot what the buttons were at first. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've clearly forgotten how to play this game at all. Um. What the heck is this? What do I do? Come on, take out that flying dude. Bowser Jr. is about to die. No. Do I really not remember how this game works at all? Oh no! Ah! I'm so done! Not like this. I lost. I don't remember how this game works. It's four of us, one direct message. I mean, Dungeon Master and three players, including you. Gotcha, gotcha. Press Y before the battle is say there. Yeah, I did. No more going on. <laughs> the three houses in here. Yep. Yep, yep. Anyway, the flying dudes in the front, right? Because they're effective against ground dudes. But then I need some ranged dudes. 
Yeah, I think maybe I should just do ranged and flying then. Is maybe what I'll do. Like... Do I have another good flying one? I have another bat. Like that. And then more ranged dudes. Oh, I have my freaking these guys. I forgot about them. <laughs> what if we just do this? Oh, I have a level 16 freaking ice bro. No, let's do it. I clearly don't remember how this game works. But yeah, I should be able to get that stuff figured out. Get to, probably. Let's go formation hammer. I need to remember how this game works. This stream, yeah, I kind of got a message saying that it's going on way sooner than expected. So this is probably going to be a super short stream, but whatever. Um, oh. Oh. Excellent. Wayne's world. Characters are rogue who can use magic and the other two. Match! Players are a paladin who kicks people a lot. A druid that turns into a tree. So, just like Sly Cooper 3, the guru. No one's gonna understand that. I guess, I guess he doesn't become a tree, but he becomes like other objects. Um, except the druid can't be a tree anymore because he's probably a weird cat. And ran out of the spell to cure lycanthropy? So he turned into a rat. What the heck? Sounds strange. Ah! Ah, you denied one, but not the other. This game is so freaking weird. Oh yeah, clearly this was the play. Seems like this formation here was clearly the play. Victory! I haven't played this game in like a month. Hold on, when was the last upload anyway? Let's look at my channel, my YouTube channel, videos. Because it's currently August 25th. When was the last time I uploaded Bowser Jr.'s Journey? When was it? Oh, it has to be before I uploaded like the first part of Three Houses, right? Maybe, oh. I have to do things here first. Excuse me. Okay, um... Oh my goodness, I'm scrolling down for a long time here. Deny! No, I didn't deny in time- anyway. I'm having to scroll down for a while, what the heck? I was still in the middle of Xenoblade, but... So the last part was part 9, it's currently August 25th, and never mind the last time that I streamed this, since it's not quite one for one with the uploads, since uploads happen a little bit after. Like, depending on whatever is convenient for, like, my daily upload schedule. So, it's currently August 25th, and the last upload was July 21st. So, it literally has been at least minimum over a month since the last time I did this. Oh, my goodness. Also, everything's going terribly. All my troops are dying. Yes. We're turning things around. So yeah, it's not even an exaggeration. It literally has been over a month. Like, I wonder when the last stream actually was. Because it wasn't July 21st. That was just when the upload happened. Which was probably, honestly, like a week before that. Oh my goodness. Stop taking out my dude! Also, the paladin has a curse ring that's really trapped him crazy and messes with the memories of other people. Sounds like a very intro- Hey, look, there's a spiky dude! Sounds like a very interesting adventure. Oh my goodness, there's those freaking bee dudes that are mean. Let's rally. I have no idea why my voice went deep there. That's very weird. When you said that my voice went deep, I had no idea what you meant until you shared that clip. And then I was like, oh, I didn't know that was possible. I'm, as far as I know, I've never had that happen on the stream before. Like, it could have potentially happened in the past without anybody mentioning it. Because... You know, I don't listen to my own stream at the time, so there's no way for me to know if I have audio problems. Um... He's rallying now. Yeah, I appreciate it, Cam. Yeah, because most people, like, watching a stream won't say anything. They'll either just be silent, or think it's intentional, or they'll just leave. Be like, wow, this streamer sucks. Ow, bees. Ow. <laughs> Should have let it happen for the entire stream. Well, even if he hadn't said anything, it would have fixed itself apparently because reasons. Yeah, get him with those signs. Because it clearly fixed itself because I didn't do anything to fix it. Oh no! But that was weird. Why did my microphone just do that? Oh no, please don't call in reinforcements. No! 
No! Yeah, get him. Ah! What do you mean, okay? Do I have to wait for it to flash multiple times? How are you jumping on a spike? That's clearly against, like, Mario rules. Like, Mario Universe rules. Okay, shield. Shield Bowser Jr. <laughs> Man predict. There we go. Fix after you did the funny mic mute. Oh, uh, what? Ah, take that. <laughs> what are you doing? Apparently that inspires Morton. Speaking of bees, Minecraft included bees in the PC version. Morton, leave now. In the PC version recently. What the heck? What is even happening to that game nowadays with all the things that they're adding? Like, I'm so not up to it. muted for a little bit? Oh. Well then. At least it's not like the last stream I did with the Undertale of Amits, which you also hadn't done in over a month, where I accidentally kept hitting my microphone muting hotkey. Because of, like, the oven. I still have the oven mitt back here. I still haven't put it away. I still have the oven mitt here from the from the last stream there. We got Horned Ant Trooper. Silent soldiers who keep their cool while cornering enemies. They like to catch foes off guard with powerful attacks. We got a Pokey. They may move slowly, but their HP is a point of pride. They have protective spikes on their bodies, but are weak against boomerang attacks. Whoa, dude. Whoa, bro. So do we have to go do these two? What, what is the heck is that weird bush thing? Oh, that is a lot of ranged dudes. So what's good against ranged dudes? It's ground dudes, apparently. And there's a couple flying dudes in the front there at the beginning. But it's almost completely ranged. So uh, good against flying is ranged. So how about we have like two ranged dudes at the front and then completely ground dudes. So how about we do this? And we do that, and then we want another flying dude. Wait, no we don't. We want ground dudes. I forgot how things worked for a second there. All right, um, there's that 15 plus dude. Oh, I have a freaking Goomba tower. Don't mind me as the great tower, leaning tower of Goombas steps on in. Um, and then we can have two of the same thing here because it'll help draw out their power and stuff. Cool! We're, we're doing it! Or something like that. So you can use bottles on beehives to get honey, but a bee with angry anime eyes chases you. Not with dick smart Bowser! You can also shear a beehive for honeycombs. At first I thought that was like a typo for here, but then I realized that it actually was shear. You could shear a beehive for bunny honeycombs, bunnycombs, but only if honey is in the hive. Weird. I prefer forestry bees still. <laughs> if I ever had to deal with bees in Minecraft, I prefer it to be forestry bees. Forestry is such a good mod. Yeah, there's so many good mods out there. Back during the Xenoblade Chronicles playthrough, I was talking about like potentially making like a community server and running it on my desktop. But the thing is, one, like as much as I would like to do that, one, I don't have the time for it. Two, my desktop is running enough as is and I don't know if it could run and like handle running that basically 24 7 and I, I had a third point and then I forgot it so you know what was my third point again I don't even remember get him get him real good but yeah there's just like too many other things to do right now like I wouldn't be able to fit it into my schedule. Like, I want to finish this off. I want to get through the other three routes of three houses, and that game is so freaking long. And, uh-oh, please don't kill me here. And I gotta get through this game, and then I gotta get through Okami, and then Bravely Second, and then, like, more- uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, so Pisa Arts and Console, yeah. Yeah, I- I haven't played the game in a long time, but I remember that, like, console would always get updated, like, sometime after the PC version. But yeah, that was something that I was like seriously considering for a while. I kind of really wanted to make like a community heavily modded server. To have like a series that would be multiplayer, but also something that could like be ongoing for a long time. But there's too many things to do. Yeah, exactly. More like Fire Emblem 300 hours. Literally exactly. Stop and drop. What the heck? Deny plus damage. That's so rude. Because... <laughs> I just finished my first playthrough, like, a few days ago. Or something like that. It might have been a, a bit more than a few days ago now. I'm losing track of time. 
but I finished my first playthrough a little bit ago and it took me 65 hours and there's three more routes to do. So I'm looking at that and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I literally can't factor in other things. Like, I just can't. And, like, there's so many other things to do afterwards as well. Like, after we do Fire Emblem Three Houses, if another new release isn't out by then, like, like Luigi's Mansion 3, for example, because I always do new release stuff first. If there isn't a new release thing after, like, out by then, then I'll be going into Okami HD, since that's what was already decided upon by the community and stuff. And then after this, is gonna be Bravely Second, because that was the next aside upon handheld game, and I'm actually really looking forward to that, because I love Bravely Second with a passion. Mon predict! And... After that, I have, like, a long list of, like, other things that I want to get to. Which, I know are gonna occupy me for, like, <laughs> several years of streaming, easily. And... Like, even factoring the stuff that I want to do as playthroughs, I also want to take some time to like try to focus on one thing or other in specific like to kind of more try to find my identity as a streamer because i still don't really know what i am as a streamer like right now i'm doing like variety playthroughs but like if i was describing my stream to somebody like what would i say like i don't really have a niche that i'm fitting into right now so i might take like a couple months where i actually commit more to some multiplayer games again like right now it's currently august and once university starts back up i'm thinking in september i might become like a largely Smash Bros streamer again like maybe I might not be doing like the old viewer game system because that kind of messed with my head but I might try being like a mostly Smash streamer for like a month still doing playthrough stuff on the side I can't give that up but doing quite a decent chunk of like Smash streams on the side as well like being a Smash streamer who does other things and then during October since that's like Halloween and the spooky month will have like some sort of a Halloween game that will play through like something spooky or spooky themed that I'll make a poll for in the Discord server soon for like what spooky game I should stream through. But because it's October and like the spooky month, I think in October I might try to take a month of being a largely DVD streamer and do that as like the spooky thing for October. So that's my current plan is take a month of trying out both to try to find like if there's a niche that I can fit into just to experiment with. Like, just to, just to try it out. Yeah, I mean, that's what I consider myself as well as a variety Nintendo streamer, but, like, people don't exactly know me for any specific one thing. Like, at least during Smash 4 viewer games, people, like, knew me for that, and they knew me for my Jigglypuff, even if they just wanted to, you know, stop by just to do games against me and start really getting to my head. But, <laughs> regardless, I think it'd be neat to find, like, a niche to fit into. So currently, we'll see if the plan changes as time goes on, but currently the plan is in September maybe take a month where I try to get into competitive Smash and make that as my niche, and then October do a month where I try to fit into a niche of, hey, I'm a DVD streamer who tries to help people learn the game. What with like my guide series that I make with that and stuff. Like just to see if any of them click, just to see if any of those resonate, to see if something really appeals to me. But. You know, it might just not, and I might just go back to doing, you know, stuff like I currently am. So, I don't know. But yeah, also playing through a long game while also having a lot of other games on the back burner, so I feel you. Yeah, so there's that. Plus, there's the fact that I want to try out committing to these multiplayer games in the next couple months, potentially. Which would slow down my progress in the long list of things that I want to get through even further. So sometimes there's friends of mine that'll be talking to me, and they'll be like, Hey, I know this great game that you'd absolutely love and I completely recommend to you and I just have to shut them down every time I have to be like I literally can't take game recommendations right now like it's l literally not in the cards I just can't whoops sorry for bumping my mic there like if somebody recommended me a game the only time that I'd have to play it is on weekends when I'm out of town and literally can't stream and that's time that I usually take for like video editing and stuff like that like I finished like 80% of the music collection for next month and I finished the next part of the Fire Emblem Guide series while away speaking of is freaking part 56 of Fire Emblem Tree Houses now uploaded to YouTube I accidentally uploaded that before part 55 on the weekend so I was like, oh crap, and then I deleted part 56, and now I'm uploading it again just so it's in the right order. And it's apparently still not uploaded, because once it's uploaded, then I'll just like publish the second part of my guide series. And then maybe one of these days, maybe today if I get the chance, I'll record the, the third part of the 
guide thing. I don't know. Anyway, what do we have here? There's ground dudes in the front, so we want flying. Then there's ranged in the middle. So we want flying, then ground, then maybe just flying, then ground. I don't know. Maybe a couple ranged. All right, leading the squad here. We need um, flying. A freaking row of flying, how about? And then we can have like a row of ground dudes. Where's my spiny dude? There he is. The REB. We can have one range dude like at the back there. There, we have the two towers. Easy peasy, don't even worry about it. Begin. Playing through Dragon Quest 8, I also tend to play Dragon Quest 4, 5, 6, and 9, Final Fantasy 4 through 6, and all the GB. Look, the next small Bowser, GBA Fire Emblem's not counting any new releases you intend to get, like Dragon Quest 11. Jeez, that is definitely a lot, then. All, like, super long RPGs. And also, speaking of the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblems, that's something that it's actually on my list to do on stream one of these days. Like, once we get through, like, our current home console and handheld stuff, and do the next, like, home console and handheld things, which is Okami and then Bravely Second, because those were already decided on, like, back when I had the Streamlabs poll system. So those are already decided on. But once those are through, then I'm gonna start using the kind of reactions thing in Discord to make new polls for future games. And when it comes to future handheld ones, the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblems are actually going to be one of the ones I'm going to add to that poll, starting with Fire Emblem 7, uh, The Blazing Blade. Because that was actually my first Fire Emblem game. And then, like, if we do The Blazing Blade, then I'll add to the poll one day the option for Fire Emblem The Binding Blade, which is Fire Emblem 6. So I'd be doing, I'd be doing 7 and then 6, but that's the order the story goes as well, because 6, or 7 is a prequel to 6, so... You know, I would be following the right order of the story. So... Ow! Plus, I've never played 6. I played through 7 and loved it. It was my first Fire Emblem game. And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I never played through 6. And I played through Sacred Stones, like, halfway, like, four times because the emulator on my phone kept deciding to stop working eventually. So I did, like, the first half of it, like, four times. And then I just stopped trying. I was like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> so... So I've never actually finished Sacred Stones. I've gotten halfway through it, like, four times. <laughs> so, you know. So, you know. But yeah, I really want to do the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblems on stream one day in the order of seven six eight so you know kind of a weird order but that's the order i want to do <laughs> plus a dark souls remaster but you're not beating that for a long time because you're bad at that game i wouldn't even dare trying a dark souls game it looks very very difficult larry rally what the heck what the heck is this ow i didn't mean to hit the nine he's doing the freaking mario bros attack thing uh, yeah, now Bowser Jr. is denying for nothing. Let's use a rally. Whatever. Come on, let's get that spirit up there. Heck yeah! Show me that fighting spirit, you silly bats! Aw, oh, dang it. Well, at least their defense is down. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, that's me! What, that wasn't like a great? Ah! Uh, I'll let it happen. Don't worry, everything's under control. Everything's going exactly as intended. They're very fun and well designed most of the time, but are definitely really challenging unless you know all the cheese strats. What is the timing for that? Yeah, that sounds like something that would be very much the case in a Dark Souls game. Even if I've never played one, that seems very much what it'd be like. And speaking of, like, games that I really want to play, I've had, like, a massive urge to play Sly Cooper again recently. To, like, continue the series where I left it off, because I did Sly Cooper 1 already. And now I really want to get into 2 and 3. But, you know, now is not the time for that. <laughs> Too many other things right now. Besides, I did... I did Sly Cooper 1 on my... on my birthday this year. So maybe I should do 2 on that same day next year. It'd only be fitting. 
Besides, I can't get to it for a while anyway, because of the massive backlog of other things now anyway. Even though, I really, really want to get into Sly Cooper again. I've been, like, looking back at it again recently, and it made me realize how good it really was, and I was like, man, I really want to play it again with this newfound appreciation that I couldn't have as a kid. Man, oh man. But I can't get into it right now. It's not the time or place. There's too many other things. There's all the new releases coming out this year, like the remake of Link's Awakening. There's three houses that I still have to get through the rest of. There's freaking Luigi's Mansion 3 that looks super cool. There's Okami HD. There's Bravely Second, which if it takes me as long as Bravely Default did, it's going to take me half a year. So the story of Bravely Default slash Bravely Second on this stream is going to be like over the course of like a year slash a year and a half at the end of the day probably because it's so long and the fact that there is like a long break in between the two games but still it'll be the longest story stream time wise or stream like duration wise i should say in terms of like starting and stopping dates that we may ever do because <laughs> it's ridiculous no that's so rude protect me Bonk. But if you're like you, it's still very challenging, even with cheese strats like using sorcery and getting crimson armor at the beginning of the game. No idea what any of it means, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, get that guy. No, take out the top guy first. I wish you could like choose what target you had. Like take out the top guy first for that additional experience. Morton, you failed me. You're off the team. You're kicked off. All right, let's go, cleared. We did the thing. We did it real good. Heck yeah, couple level ups. Um, sneak attack, a skill that only Kamek can use. Stealthily appear behind the enemy captain for a sneak attack. Ooh, if Kamek is discovered before attacking, his power will decrease. Rumor has it, he's more easily detected by troop types that he's weak against. Mm. Also, I've never used a single one of these beans. Should I be? Should. Like, would I be doing a lot better if I actually use these beans? Like, I think I have to use like the touch screen here like this. Like, a bean that gives 10 experience to melee troopers, effect is have defeated by other unit types. So if I select this, oh, I can't select my mate. Oh, but I can still select Morton there though. Oh. Cause I don't really want to use it on my basic troops a whole lot considering like they keep getting replaced all the time but what if i give it to like my main man morton here you really can't just spam this this is how fast it goes at maximum speed apparently like i may as well you know use this stuff meet him 100 experience sure we got a level up for morton um and then we've got flying what's this super bean 30 experience regardless of unit type and then there's ones for like specific stats huh Basically, if you know where you're going, you know what you're doing. You go to Blight Town at the beginning of the game, no idea what that is, and get this really good armor that you're supposed to get like halfway through the game. Except right at the beginning. Also, it looks like Shrimmity Shrim isn't gonna be going on super long because of this thing going on. And then I'll get back and then probably continue with Stardew Valley. Uh, sure, let's feed Kamek the freaking thing. He needs beans. He needs to munch a munch of them because I'm never using this stuff. So I probably should probably a good idea and then i don't really have anybody ranged right now that i want to give it to um we could give kamek some more hp would you like some more hp kamek what about morton you want even more hp you want to be even tankier um power sure let's increase freaking kameks and then morton's a bit let's just use all the beans on these guys increases defense sure let's make morton tankier speed your speed's pretty low there, Morton. Let's, yeah, spear. Oh yeah, that's a chance of using your thing. Oh, I wanna give that to Morton then, because his thing is really good. Drumstick that gives 10 experience to Bowser Jr. cannot be given to other kids. Oh, so there's like no reason for me to be holding on to these. They're just, my goodness, HP drumstick gives Bowser Jr. plus one HP. So these drumsticks are just for Bowser Jr. then? Hmm. What the heck is this? Charred drumstick from Morton, it tastes pretty gross. Gotcha, gotcha, tacos. But I don't really know anything about Dark Souls myself, so. Also, 
Oh? <laughs> I swear, is this gonna be what I think it is? Hold on. Anyway, I guess ranged is good against flying, so you know. Is this gonna be what I think it is here? She's just gonna ask us to attack her back. Is that all this is gonna be? Here, let's use the plus ones. That's totally what this is gonna be, isn't it? That's totally what we're gonna get. Here we are! I love a monsieur mechanic. <laughs> what the heck? Madam, it's been a while, hasn't it? I forgot what voice I was doing for Kemic. I don't know how to speak French. Um, Maui, I don't know. <laughs> I've totally butchered that. But of course, I'm happy to see you, Sherry. What have you been up to? Same, same, you know. Working for his burliness, Lord Bowser. Ah, oui. I have heard of this Lord Bowser, but I do not know him. And who are these amis of yours? Amis? We're trying to make a supplement, lady. Not for the chit-chat. Oh, this one is a naughty boy. Très malicious. So, is this supplement you speak of? Yes, my friend is impatient. But it is true that time is of the essence. Not so fast. <laughs> you see, I'm having these aches and pains. I cannot relieve them by myself. I knew it. I'm needing the relief of a good, strong massage. What's a massage? You have to be strong to do it? Then I can crush it! Ah, oui. wee. This sounds... Dang it. Ah, oui. This sounds promising. I need the powerful fists and the tender touch as well. You can do both. I can do anything! Hold my Everest, Kamek! Very well, however, if you stop, even for an instant, I will not have my relief. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> we have the we have the boss battle music! It's a boss battle against her freaking back! Here we go! <laughs> this game is so ridiculous! Here we go! We have to not let up. Oh, let's rally then. Her back is a weak so- Ow! She fights back! Oh no! What the heck? Enemy defense down! That's a great way to start. Come on! Get her! Yes! Get her back. Ow! No, why would you deny Kamek? You're the one who wanted the freaking massage. Why are you denying my freaking allies from doing their stuff? Bonk. Take that. Uh-oh. blue. I will have the kids take care of this. At least I think that's what she said. It didn't actually show what she was saying for a long time. Oh my goodness, she was freaking unbelievable. Dang it. She's summoning bugs. Eh, you must work the knots out. We have to work the knots out. Great. Damage dealt to all- OW! No! Oh no! How long do I have to wait on that? Do I have to press it like right at the spark? Oh no. Um... You lied, her back- Yeah, her back is kinda- Oh my goodness. No! 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 Oh my goodness, Morton's health is almost all the way gone. Her back is absolutely OP. No, don't take out Morton. Uh-oh. You must do the nuts out. No, you're only rallying yourself, but still. No. Critical. Is ice critical against her then? Should I be using a whole bunch of my freaking ice bros? Oh no. Yeah, we gotta ban her back in tournaments, don't we? Uh-oh. It's gonna be close here. Come on, get her back! Yeah, she took a Morton out! Ouch! Come on, get her! This is the weirdest massage I've ever seen in my life. 
What the heck? Okay, we totally got this, right? If you don't stop, it's just some of these reinforcements again, I swear. Oh no. Yes! <laughs> the snowball <laughs> finished it off. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Whew. Victory, jeez. What a wacky battle. What the heck? What did I just witness? Oh la la, that was very nice. It is getting very salt in here, no? Lady, can you just hurry up and make my skeleton? Boy, you must learn. There is no beauty in rushing. The best things are worth waiting for, no? Now, give a lady her space to play. I don't know exactly how that's pronounced. Let me see. First, the bees in place. Carefully, we mince the carrot and the onion. Um. Well, she's dead now. Now we simmer them gently. Gently. Yeah, she's dead now. Um. Why didn't anyone tell me cooking was this exciting? It's news to me. I like touch with the tenderizer. What is happening? There's nothing light about this. You can trust her. She knows what she's doing. Now a sprinkle of Zevaris. Ah, not too much. Do do. Do do. What? This is the most delicate part. And here we have. La voila! Um. Yeah, using pyromancy to cook. Wait, is she speaking another language? Oui, monsieur. <laughs> oh, gamic. C'est spawn. There we are. About time. The Dolores, it is ready. I have made a large batch, Pova. Wait, I have no idea how that's pronounced. I've, I've never spoken French in my life, apart from a very brief beginner French class that I had to take in grade six after a new principal came in and even forced the German students like me to take French as well. That's the only French I've ever done in my life. How long? How many years ago was grade six then? Nine years ago? Something like that? I don't even know anymore. There should be plenty, even for the hungry garçon. I have no idea. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. You got 200 servings of Skeleton Formula D. Or maybe it's Skeleton Formula Smiley Face. I don't even know. It's pronounced like Vu. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, because I don't know these things. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier. I think this is the first stream I've done of this game with this camera border, actually. Like, I still had my old camera border, like, during the last part of this. Whereas, so, if anybody ever watches this series through, then all of a sudden the camera board will change from like the PNGs of sorts to like ones that I drew myself over a very long time. <laughs> and I don't want to do it again. Because <laughs> it was... Man, did it take a while. We got some more beans. 